part of polygons. We are discussing problems in the last exercise. Page number 58. Look at the question. Draw a hexagon of equal angles and unequal sides. We are going to draw a hexagon with all angles equal. We know sum of all angles in a hexagon to be equal to 720 degree. So each angle would be 720 divided by 6 which gives you 120 degree. Now we are going to draw a hexagon with all angles equal but not the sides. Okay. So first of all you draw a line of any measure. Let me draw a line of any measure. Now measure 120 degree at both these ends using your protractor. Keep your protractor at this end. Measure 120 degree. 120 degree is here. Similarly, keep your protractor at this end. Measure 120 degree. 120 degree is here. Now, draw lines from these two ends. Now this angle is 120 degree and this angle is also equal to 120 degree. Now we take a point over here and measure 120 degree at this point. Let us name this as A, B. Let us take a point C, D, E. So this point is going to be F. Now measure 120 degree at these two points. So you get 120 degree. Now keep your protracted at the point C and measure 120 degree. So 120 degree is here. Now let us draw in these two. And also these two. Take a point D over here and mark a point E here. Now measure 120 degree at this point D and measure 120 degree. So 120 degree is here. Draw in D to this point. If you add these angles, you get 120 into 5, 600. Therefore, the third angle will be equal to 720 minus 600, which is going to be 120 degree. We got a x again with all angles equal now, but sides are not equal. Is it okay, children? Come to the sixth question in your textbook. Other questions are discussed in your previous video. Figure shows a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon put together. How much is angle PQR? You can see a regular hexagon and a regular pentagon. Regular pentagon means a pentagon with all sides and all angles equal. A regular hexagon, all sides and all angles are equal. We know each angle of this regular hexagon to be equal to 120 degree. And also we know each angle of a regular pentagon to be equal to 180 degree. How did you get 108? It is 540 divided by 5. So you get 108. Now the question is to find angle PQR. So to get angle PQR, use the idea angle around a point is equal to 360 degree. So to get angle PQR, it is enough. If you subtract the sum of 
these two angles from 360 degree. So I wrote 360 degree minus of 120 plus 108. That is equal to 360 minus 8, 2 and 2. From 360 you had to subtract 228 which is equal to 10 minus 8 gives you 2, 5 minus 2 gives you 3, 3 minus 2 gives you 1. So we can say angle PQR to be equal to 130. Let us discuss the seventh question. Figure shows a square, a regular pentagon and a regular hexagon put together. Look at the picture. Question is how much is angle BAC? Here again we use the same idea. Angle around a point is equal to 360. So angle around this point A would be equal to 360 degree. Okay. Now this is a five sided figure. A regular pentagon. So what is each angle of a regular pentagon? We know each angle of a regular pentagon is 540 divided by 5 which is equal to 108. What is each angle of a square? 360 divided by 4 which gives you 90. Each angle of a regular hexagon 720 divided by 6 gives you 120 degree. Okay. So to get angle BAC what we have to do from 360 degree we have to subtract the sum of these three angles. So let us add the sum of the three angles. We get 8, 2 plus 9, 11, 1 balance you get 318. So 360 minus 318 which gives you 42 degree. Therefore angle BAC is equal to 42 degree. Is it okay children? More problems we will discuss in our next class. Thank you.